June is about to close out, but before the summer gets even hotter, we've got some big swords, evil bears, and cheerful marsupials on the way. Those aren't all from the same game, although you could make it happen with one of these, uh, more on that later. For now, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get new releases delivered to you every Sunday. Leaping into the current generation is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Whether your favorite Crash game is the original, Cortex Strikes Back, or Warped, you'll be able to play all three, rebuilt for the PS4. That means the levels have the same layout as the originals, but with totally new animation and sound, so the trilogy should look and play even better than you remember. A pretty great way to celebrate the series' 20th anniversary, if you ask me. You can celebrate for yourself on Friday, June 30th. But until then, let's all remember the days when you could put on a suit and yell at your competitors through a megaphone. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff! Monokuma is a lot less cartoony than Crash, and the evil bear is still very much a threat in Danganronpa, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Well, at least his clones are. This spin-off takes place in a city overrun by killer Monokuma robots, and it's up to Kamaru to end their threat of despair. Unlike the visual novel gameplay of the main series, Ultra Despair Girls is a horror adventure game. Kamaru will have to use her hacking gun to shoot enemies, scan the environment for clues, and solve puzzles. If you haven't picked up the original Vita version, you can now join her on this journey on PS4 and PC on Tuesday, June 27th. So have any of these games been up your alley so far? Think you could make something better? Now you can prove it with RPG Maker Fest. No coding knowledge required here. Just use the interface to create your own stories, worlds, and combat and make the RPG you've always wanted. There's no need to hog the hero's journey either. You can upload your games for other people to play and then grab the free RPG Maker player from the eShop to play some of theirs. You can start creating and sharing on 3DS on the 27th. Speaking of Nintendo systems, it's always a good time to bring up Zelda. The Master Trials is Breath of the Wild's first DLC pack, and it's bringing a ton of new content to Hyrule. There's new armor, like the Korok Mask, which will help you find those cute little tree creatures more easily. And for more of a challenge, you can try out the new Hard Mode. You can track where you've been with the Hero's Path map feature, and get back to a warp point of your choosing via the new Travel Medallion. But the biggest addition of all is the Trial of the Sword, an all-new challenge area with 45 rooms to clear. Completing this boosts the Master Sword's power for the rest of your journey. It'll be available to download on both Nintendo Switch and Wii U on Friday, June 30th. But if you want to see the DLC in action right now, you can check out our stage demo from E3. Let's wrap up with one more RPG, Tokyo Xanadu. It's from the same team behind the East and Legend of Heroes series, but this one is set in a fictional suburb of the very real modern-day Tokyo. Social media and the internet play a big part in Tokyo Xanadu's story, where a deadly shadow world emerges from the center of town. It all sounds pretty reminiscent of this year's smash hit Persona 5, so if that sounds good to you, then you can grab this PS Vita game on the 30th. And those are the hottest games we'll be playing this week. As always, remember that release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back with more games next week.